This is a super cute cell phone case so that when you put your cell phone in your purse, you don't get it scratched up with coins and sharp objects and other items that are miscellaneous in there. At the end, you can actually customize it with a really cute bead chain and a charm, whatever you would like to put on there. So it's perfect for someone that's in your family or your friends and they'll love this gift. It's awesome. To make this phone case, it's super easy. You only need a few materials. You need a hot glue gun, which you gotta be careful with because it gets super hot and you don't want it on you. With some extra glue sticks. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a packet of bobby pins. You'll need a cup. This cup has to fit your phone in it, so make sure your phone fits right in there. And you'll need a thing of yarn, so I got colorful yarn so that it looks rainbow pattern. And you'll need a hook. You can get these at any kind of craft store. If you can't find a hook, you can also bend a bobby pin and use that as a hook, but these are way easier to use. The first step to make your super cute foam purse is to warm up your hot glue gun and get out your cup and your bobby pins. And then you're going to place the bobby pins along the outside edge of the cup with the flat part facing the outside. So the flat part of the cup, the bobby pin is along the outside of the cup. And you're going to keep on placing bobby pins around the outside edge about an inch apart. Now that we have all the bobby pins about an inch apart along the outside edge of the cup, we are going to take our hot glue gun and we're just going to secure the bobby pins in place. So you're just going to glue all the bobby pins down as much as you can around the outside edge. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use tape, but hot glue guns make it way more secure and a lot easier to navigate around the cup. So I would suggest just doing it around the edges and make sure that if you have a plastic cup, you don't hot glue the top part because it will melt down for some reason. I figured that out with trial and error. So um, just use the hot glue gun around the further, furthest edges of the bobby pins. Now your cup is all ready. It's going to look like this. It doesn't need to be pretty, so don't worry about that. Just make sure that the glue is all dried and everything is secure. So check every single one and make sure they're secure. And then you're going to get out any old straw from your kitchen and you're going to cut a piece of it off. And it'll be about this long. Then you're going to take your yarn. You can use any color you want any of your family or friends favorite colors as their gift and you are going to string the yarn through the straw and this is actually going to make it a lot easier to loop the yarn around the bobby pins to start your foam purse you're going to take your yarn with a straw on it and you will put it in between right here in between one of the bobby pins and you're just going to leave about uh, this much yarn left over to begin with and then you're just going to take the yarn and loop it around each bobby pin like this. And see how the straw makes it so much easier? It really keeps it steady. 
and the loops don't come off as easy. Make sure that your yarn is still on the roll this whole time. And once it gets tight, like mine's starting to get tight, you're just going to unroll your yarn, like so. And then put it to the side. So your first time through, you're going to do two rows of the loops, just like that. You see how there's the blue and the green? That's two rows. And then you're just going to set your straw and your yarn down right there. And you're going to take your hook and you're just going to pull the bottom loop over top of the top loop. So just like this. See how it went right over? And then you're going to continue that all the way around. So continue the process over and over again, all the way around so that everything is looped in and connected. Now that all of your loops are connected and you went through the whole thing, you're going to take your straw and yarn and you're just going to go around in the loops again, just like this. Set it to the side once you get to the ones that are already looped. And you're going to repeat the process of pulling up with the hook on the loops and pulling them over the bobby pin. So do this over and over again and you're gonna keep pushing down the yarn and until it gets to the bottom of the cup or wherever your phone will fit in the best and then we're going to do the next step. Now I've got all of the yarn to the bottom of the cup just like that and make sure all of your loops are enclosed and then you're going to cut off a piece of yarn from the existing yarn that was still on there about arm's length long and you're going to attach a yarn needle to the end of it. Then you're going to sew a bottom on because we need to have an enclosure at the bottom. You're going to go from the one next to the yarn that's hanging and just put the needle through the loop. like that and then you're going to go to the one next to it go down through it and then to make the enclosure you have to go from every other one. So you're gonna go from this one to this one. So go back up through this one. And you're gonna do a zigzag fashion. And the loops are going to come off. So you can pull the loops up off of there. And then you're just gonna skip this one and go to this one. And just keep doing that zigzag pattern back and forth. So I've only got a couple left to do, but it's going to look something like this when you're getting close to done. And you're just going to keep on doing the zigzag pattern from one bobby pin through the loops. And it's okay if it comes off the bobby pin that's what it's supposed to do 
and then into the one that's across from it on the other side. So in the zigzag pattern. So once you have your final loop, you're just going to pull out the purse and it looks really cool already. And you're just going to pull the string as tight as possible. So just keep pulling it. So now it looks flat. And then to secure it, you're just going to put a couple extra stitches in there. So it looks like that. Then you're going to cut off this, leave a little bit, and tie a couple of knots in to the yarn. Now, I usually like to flip it inside out, so it looks a lot prettier. And this is what mine ended up like. So it's really pretty. You can make a bunch of different colors and you can decorate it with charms on this piece, which is what I'm about to do. And you can put beads on there as well. Okay, so now it's all finished. I put some beads on the end and this really cute leftover sun charm that I had. And this was super easy to make. It's a little time consuming to get all of the loops wrapped around and everything, but it's well worth it and it's a great gift for someone. They can also use it as a change purse or a lip gloss purse, whatever they would like. And make sure if you make this today, you post a photo of it below so we can see what yours looks like. This holiday season, make sure you give back to those around you. Just because you can't do something huge for someone doesn't mean that a small gesture of kindness doesn't make a big impact. Try to make at least five people a day smile. So go to the grocery store, walking down the street, one of your family or friends, and try to make at least five people smile. Not only does it make your day better, but it brightens their day more than you could ever imagine.